Hello, and welcome back to the Blight Guy Gaming News. Now, I haven't been doing any other videos for a while, but I've decided to play some of this. City Skylines. So, I've been, like, playing around with this game for a while. Um, I didn't really want to make a video on it too early because I wasn't very good at it. So I've been messing around off camera and uh, trying to figure out how to actually make a place stay for at least an hour. When I first started I ran out of money within um, a couple of yeah about half an hour so I've done another world where I have actually made it. So we're going to start off here. Um, we're going to build a road and get a pump working and set up some homes. So we start with road um, because I've just started this. <coughs> Uh, I only have a two lane road at the moment. You can have it straight, curved, or free form. Um, and obviously you can upgrade later on when we unlock more. So I'm going to put this road down. I'm just going to make a straight one. About there. And... Uh, Put, I might, I'm going to link these up so you can actually go around in circles. So at least you can come in and exit at the same time. I made another place and I didn't make an exit, so <laughs> they couldn't escape once they came in. But before we put housing down, we need uh, sewage in and out, um, clean water from above. So the water is running from high to low. So we need to put a pump, um, a water sewage pump, uh, one of these water pumping station um, at the top. Obviously this will need electricity, but that'll be next. So, all I need to put down is a drain pipe. This will be down river, as we'll see, you don't want sewage coming into your clean water. So we're going to put this down here. So they're put down, now we need to get some electricity and link it up to this area. So as we're starting off, um, a coal power plant is quite expensive. Um, so we're going to go for the cleaner version, wind turbine, which is 80, uh, whatever, simians or a week um, and it's only 6,000 to put down as well zero pollution 75 noise pollution compared to 50 noise pollution and obviously 50 pollution so these dark areas show us um, show me where the best wind is so this will be the best for wind you got to look at your um, how many estimated production? I'd only be making 5 megawatts here compared to 8 here. Technically, I could have put it over here, but I don't really want to put lines across uh, water. 
Dangerous. So it doesn't have anything to connect yet, because there's no housing here. I'm just going to put those down now. So we need some housing, as this says, very high demand for residential zone. So we're going to put some houses down. Um, I'm just going to put a few. So hopefully they will come in. I will fast forward, accelerate time, and they're building up. Uh, it's going down, high demand's going down slightly. We'll put some more in. Now they need water, so we'll have to put some pipes in. Now oh, that's already the pipes are working. We've got fresh water and we have drainage going out. So now we have a medium demand for residential zone and a medium demand for commercial zone and now a high demand for industry offices. So we're going to have to add these in oh industry or offices. Um, offices come later. So we're going to put some industry down a bit further in because we don't want them uh, taking like pollution into the housing because obviously industry causes pollution. So let's add some more road. Then we need to link them up with electricity and water and sewage. Of which it looks like the sewage runs through. Just have to add normal fresh water across here. Yep, that was just it. Now we have high residential zone because we have <clears throat> industry, but um, there's not enough people here to run the industry. So we'll get some more residential down.
now um, commercial zone is being heightened um, medium so we're going to put some of that down there that'll be our commercial zone Seems like we still need a residential zone. So I'm going to put some more down. Make sure it's in radius. As you can see, we have money um going down quite quickly um that's because obviously i've just bought a load of things and um, we're not collecting any tax at the moment um that comes in the next level um what we should do at this moment is change the name of the town so i'm just going to do that Most of you all know what that means. <laughs> so we have 26 children, 29 teens, 0 young adults, and 56 adults, 0 seniors. And uh, most of the city is made up of industry. Um, a little bit of residential. And the very small commercial we have a population of 112 um, with 29 households 56 workers out of 78 no tourists at the moment because there's nothing to tour so we can look at our budget um, we're sending out a higher water um, but that's all right. As long as we're getting good water in and uh, electricity, should run all right. Taxes come in the next level um, when we get 440 population. We'll just let that higher up. We also got this part millstones, which I'll just check in a minute. Loans come next as well. So we're a little hamlet at the moment with 119. Um, people on it. So next we get tax, loans, garbage, healthcare, education, and obviously new buildings. The medical clinic, elementary school, and landfill site. So we've got 122 people now. Still need to add some more people oh, into the housing. I think we're going to have to extend up here. Or we'll make a new road off here somewhere. Yeah, I think I'm going to add a new road here. We're going to have to extend the water. Just 
just a bit. That should be all right now. We want more industry now. High demand for industry and uh, commercial zone. So I'm gonna add some more of that. We'll see commercial zone should go around here somewhere because it's as long as the living part is away from industry, we should be okay. Yep, that should run fine. So we have a small hamlet, a little hamlet, and our industry area down here which is a good thing doesn't look like we need any more workers but um looks like we need to get more housing now our population is 211 we need it 400 <laughs> we have to go all around that one. What I like about water is that you can cross it underground. It's not wired. But the problem is you can't mix both pipes together, so you've got to put them around. Now we're making money. Two hundred and thirty. They want more residentials.
So we're all about medium now. That's a good thing. Oh boy, industry's going up. So we're going to add some more residential here. Now this is a problem. <laughs> that sewage <coughs> is um Yeah, that's a good uh, sewage system. <laughs> it's harder than you think trying to make a city.
I'm still making money, which is good. We need to keep the money up so we can pay for more things and uh, build our city. That is the one main thing you need, is money to actually expand. If you're not making any money, there's no point in building anything. So it seems that the residential people are actually unhappy, which is a bit weird, as everything should be okay, but then they are quite small rooms. Um, we got to wait until we upgrade to a bigger building. Uh, these are high density residential zones um, from the low density. Well, I think that's going to be it for the end of this episode. If you like the video, please like, subscribe for more. Um, obviously, I will be doing all different types of videos for the future. Hopefully we can build a city without burning it. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is like the start. And hopefully we'll upgrade it and build all over this and fill the whole place. So, until next time, bye.